What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Wow, it is a bright, beautiful day. I just looked outside like 10 minutes ago and it was fully foggy out here and now the sun is just breaking through. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stand it without sunglasses. But anyways, uh, I just wrapped up a three week like training program, horrible thing at work and completely changed my schedule and kept me from making videos and it totally sucked. But I made it through it and I'm back and uh, I have the whole day off today and it's a beautiful day and we have a bunch to do. I just caught myself inside kind of like talking to you guys in my head about all these things and then I was like, yeah, I might as well just start filming and just like share them with you because there's a couple funny things. I was just cracking up about something. Anyways, for you guys who are new to the channel, uh, we uh, shaved and repainted the back door on the OG Sequoia and I've caught myself lately when I park this thing, I've been parking it where the back is like out of the sun and I don't know why I keep doing that. I just, it looks so good. It looks so good. I'm just afraid that the sun is gonna like tarnish it or burn the clear coat off or I don't even know what. I always think weird stuff like that. But uh, n normally when you paint stuff, you wanna put it in the sun, right? But Maybe, maybe it's because it was so fried out before from the sun, all the clear coat was gone that I'm just afraid that's gonna like happen again. But it's not because it was repaired wrong. But anyways, completely shaved, back door uh, on the Sequoia. Uh, we got rid of the emblem, the wiper arm and the perch. And uh, it's definitely one of a kind. And, and I love this thing. Every time I walk up to it, uh, I get a good, uh, a huge smile on my face. But anyways, what we're here for is you guys, I get like, I don't know, 10, 15, sometimes more, sometimes left comments a day on the YouTube uh, videos. And um, one of the most common questions I get are what are the wheels on the OG Sequoia? And, uh, and you guys gotta remember, back when we got these wheels, this was my wife's Sequoia, and, uh, and I just kinda had to pick these out on the side. That was when I was getting the 22 by 12 Hostiles for the Crew Max Tundra, so my mind was kinda somewhere else with wheels. But I, I am a little picky about wheels, and so these are uh, Black Rhino Roku in a 17 by 9.5, six on five and a half lug, and I absolutely love these wheels. Um, I didn't know at the time that this vehicle was gonna be mine in a couple years. As you guys know, she got something else. So these wheels are great, but people are always asking me, what about these wheels, what about these wheels? So anyways, I'll leave a link down below, uh, but we're not here for the wheels. We're talking about the tires, okay? I noticed that these tires have about 15, 16,000 miles on them, and they just started to show a tiny bit of wear, and uh, I was starting to think the other day, what could I replace these BFG KO2s with? These are in a 285, 7017, it's like a 33115, I would say. And so I was thinking, what can I replace these tires with? And the, um, the answer is nothing. I, I really don't think there's a better uh, all-terrain tire out there. BFG KO2 is the best all-terrain tire, period, uh, for handling, for uh, wear, for characteristics, for reputation. Um, we'll get into the technical aspects a little later in this video, but definitely leave a comment down below. What tire do you have? What tire does your cousin's you know, mailman's best friend have that he's had better luck than BFG KO2s with? I know everybody has something, but uh, I really think for all-terrain tire, this is where your money's at. So uh, let's get going. We got plenty of other stuff to do on an unrelated BFG KO2 note. And um, I got to say, I, if you heard me correctly a minute ago, I just said the best all-terrain tire, all-terrain. Uh, I could have gone with BFGs. Uh, this is a 35-12-5-15. I could have found a BFG. They do make a BFG uh, mud terrain in this size, but I wanted these General Grabber X3s, and I still love those tires. Anyways, uh, check it out. Um, heading to work uh, for my last day of training yesterday, and I get on the freeway, and the freeway's kind of shut down because there is a truck on the side of the road, and it has a, about a 6x12 utility trailer on its side. Hey, look at BFG KO2s. Oh, great tire. Good choice. Anyways, this is my neighbor's truck, and uh, he loves this truck. This is what he tows his jet boat with. Uh, Chevy HD 2500 Duramax. Anyways, heading to work. I see a truck on the side of the road. Utility trailer completely flipped upside down. Uh, dude standing there. It is quite a scene. I wouldn't say that I crack up or laugh or anything like that, but I think to myself, look, look at this guy, you know, if he's at fault, which 99% of the time they are. Um, yeah. Anyways, to make a short story long, I come home um, a little bit later after work and I'm come home and my neighbor's standing right here and he's looking at his truck and I come over and I said, what's going on, man? And he shows me this. He said, hey, I let my buddy borrow my truck to uh, take a utility trailer to the dump. and." Uh, Guess he was going too quick. Trailer got squirrely, smashed in the uh, bottom of the bedside bumper, and uh, 
So anyways, I want to hear you guys. What do you guys think? Give me a, give me a YouTube comment section estimate. I think this is like a 2012 HD 2500. Uh, what do you guys think? How much would it cost to repair this smashed in bed and bumper? And you know what? I guess it could have been worse. But anyways, this is reason number 8 million to uh, not let a friend borrow your truck. Anyways, the interesting slash funny part now that we know that nobody got hurt. All right, but the interesting thing about this is later on in the day yesterday, I was coming home in the evening. Um, a few hours later, I had to run back out and I saw the marks on the freeway and it is, it is wild. You can see where the trailer just went crazy and, and flipped and pff, that sucks. Anyways, uh, no big deal. Again, nobody was hurt and you can replace truck parts. Um, it is hard right now to get parts and get body work done in the body shops. And I, I don't know if you guys have had any experience with that, but I know a ton of people who have needed work and they can't get parts or just some sort of supply chain issue in one way or another. So it's not a good time to smash your car up and have to get uh, body work done. Um, but I wanna show you guys the freeway. Uh, we'll go check that out because we have to go that way later on. And there's something else I wanna show you once we hit the road in the OG Sequoia. So uh, I'm gonna go eat some food and then uh, and we'll get out of here. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we're out, just ran some errands. And uh, one thing I noticed out of the corner of my eye yesterday was six miles to the gallon. And then if you give her a little bit more gas, it goes to five. And then you let up and it goes up to 47, 99. I did not know this thing had like real time MPGs. It's actually kind of good that the traffic has already started. It's only 154. Usually traffic doesn't start till about 2.30. And we are heading southbound Highway 1, getting outside of Santa Cruz. That's it, and I was on the other side right over there heading to work. <sighs> Poor guy. Oh well, stuff happens. All right, so it's the end of the day here. Beautiful, beautiful summer day, and I was supposed to film and do all kinds of stuff. Never got around to it, sorry about that. But uh, to those of you out there who saw the thumbnail and they were looking to the, for the technical aspect of this video, let's, let's just go over it real quick. BFG all-terrain okay quick history here uh, first bfg all-terrain came out in what year and i'm going to give you a second to guess what year it is everybody at home 1976 uh, they were first introduced or raced i should say on an oldsmobile starfire in the baja 1000 in 1975 the bfg all-terrain was launched in 1976 and stayed untouched all the way till 1986 when the second generation AT came out with various improvements between rubber compound, uh, traction, everything improved. The 1986 model was leaps and bounds uh, better than the 76. Those 1986 BFGs brought us all the way to 1999 when the third gen AT came out and they, that's when they introduced the KO. And does anybody know what KO stands for at home? Okay, we'll come back to that. Anyway, so third gen AT, also known as the KO, introduced in 1999, and the next milestone, 2015, was the introduction of the KO2. KO2s in 2015, and those have 10% uh, more traction in mud and 19% more traction in snow. The, uh, the TA, everybody, stands for traction advantage. That's right, traction advantage, and the KO2, the K stands for key, the O stands for on and off-road, and the two is because they are the second generation of the KO series all-terrain tires. So KO2. Anyways, uh, like I said before, I think uh, BFG all-terrain KO2s are probably the best uh, mixture of, um, of everything good. Long wear, quiet, off-road behavior, on-road performance, looks, comfort. Um, yes, they are a little pricey. Um, is buying tires a really a time to save 40 bucks? per tire <laughs> I don't know I don't think so anyways that's gonna do it for this video everybody uh, BFG all-terrain best all-terrain out there if you disagree if you have any comments questions concerns definitely leave them down in the comments but that is gonna be a wrap for this video um, everybody stay tuned for more great videos if you're new to the channel go ahead and consider subscribing everybody drop a big old thumbs up and I'll see everybody soon peace